All right, why don't we go on to your second uh, or your third question? Yes, so I'm really interested to know what you think the Pluto return will mean for America. I believe it's in February next year. Um, and yeah, so that's the big, that's the big question. <laughs> what, what will that mean? I'm sure we're seeing some, uh, some of the things that are happening in America now are leading up to this. Yeah, well, we'll have a little look at America's chart in a moment. I've, I've got it prepared here. We'll put it on screen. Um, in order to answer it, though, that the, there are several things that need to be said first. An understanding about what returns are about, planetary yes. returns. Yes. Once we've got that basis, what is a return about, then we can start to interpret it in terms of the symbol involved, which is Pluto. Yes. So, yes. you know, it's the famous Saturn return that happens every 28 to 30 years, then 56 yes. to 60, and then somewhere yes. in the 90, somewhere in the late 80s. Um, let me just put that away. Somewhere in the late 80s, you know, we get the third return. Not everybody yes. makes that. Yes. Or the Jupiter return every 12 years, uh, you know, Mars return every 22 months. Um, Mercury return. Well, many happy returns, the birthday. Your uh, son. <laughs> yes. So, yes, exactly. So your birthday yes. is your is your many happy solely, returns. Is your son, yeah. son return? So, yeah. uh, how how would you understand what a planetary return is? How would you how would you try and get round that? Have you thought about that? Yeah, you. I just lost you for a second there. Could you ask the question again? Yeah. Um, in your astrological studies. Yes. Uh, and continuing. How would you understand what a planetary return is? Um, and what I it think does? It's, it's where the planet comes around to the position, the natal position, and it triggers that planet. Or it, yes. there is a trigger at that point. Yes, but how would you understand what it's doing? What What's the whole concept of... They call them the generic cycles of the planets because, right. you know... Uh, Saturn returns to its own place between 28 and 30 years. Yes. It has its well, own, it has its own yes, cycle. Yes, yes, so, yes. Well, it's a completion of a cycle. Yes. So perhaps it means that, you know, the lessons of that planet, the, whatever that means, will come to some sort of fruition or conclusion that, before it begins another cycle. That's what I mean. So, so I'm just I'm just trying to lead us through if you like how to build up an interpretation sure, for, for sure. it so yes, yes. um i think the phrase that's coming to mind is the chickens come home to roost oh <laughs> yes yes so whatever's yes. been done in the pluto oh, cycle yes yes uh, which travels what 248 252 years i think is right. the pluto cycle yes. um uh, you know it what it does is reevaluate yes how that entity to which it belongs yes. um, has sorted out its relationship sure. with the planet okay i and i mean saturn because it's about learning lessons and teaching and discipline i can you know we're very used to that the saturn return have you you know have you um learned the lessons and 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 uh being self-disciplined or disciplined enough to take those lessons on board and if you haven't they're likely to again come a bit harder absolutely. in the next cycle Is that uh, right? absolutely yeah. so yeah. you know the saturn return has a lot to do with our encounter with yes. the material world as it is yes and yeah. by the material world i mean you know the facts of life money yes. power position mm. status mm. uh mm. Uh, including your own maturity in relation because yes. saturn yes. is the maturing planet it, yes. it cuts right through all of those yes. wonderful fantasies of neptune and jupiter and says well look you know if you want to do all those you have to have money in the bank yes mm. you know and, and, and often saturn is a lot to do with money it comes out right. to money issues or oh. work issues or a capacity yes. for self-discipline and hard work and yes. it, it cuts no prisoners 
you either mm -hmm. earn what you have or you or, or, or you go under at least for those yeah. people which don't have a vast inheritance uh, <laughs> which is you know so yeah. so saturn is very very in your face so yes pluto in general in a collective sense is the collective mm. survival instinct right and whenever it goes through a sign it brings things up in that sign which could threaten people yes yeah. and so it, it kind of produces this uh whole lot of people which have to deal with a particular issue according to the mm. pluto in the sign mm. do you see what i mean it's it's rather yes. like, liz green called it the cosmic toilet oh yes <laughs> right so down yeah. the things go you know it needs to be flushed out the system right yeah. and flushed through the sign so all those mm. things in the sign usually of a derogatory or difficult nature that we don't want to see in here yes, yeah, is yeah. brought to the surface and we're forced to look at it yes you're uh, the yeah. detoxification process so mm -hmm. when pluto is transiting a sign it brings out all of the material in it and confronts us with what is our worst fear what will mm -hmm. annihilate us what yeah. is you know so in 1996 when liz green was looking at pluto in sagittarius Mm. Um, I was there at the astrological conference. She talked about Pluto and Sagittarius as the changing face of God. Right. And wow. the, 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 the whole the, the lecture was called Fundamentalism and the Changing Face of God. Oh, yes. and, and she predicted the rise of fundamentalism, the rise of, you know, and almost predicted, you know, the 9 11 when wow. Pluto yes. went across the United States chart. Of course, uh, yes. In, in 12 Sagittarius. And yes. And we had that event. Yes. Now, from a, I don't think we know all there is to know about that event. No. Uh, there's no. a lot of um, uh, ideas about it, and and so on. So, as usual with these things, these big events oh. in 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 historical time, there's a lot of complications around them. And I don't yes. get into that 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 now, but Pluto is showing us it came across the horizon. And it's to do with looking at mm. an event always of that magnitude always builds up. Mm. And then we have the concept of all. Yes. See, yes. that's the other thing. So Pluto is coming around to its own place. Yes. Refers to um, what is it in life that threatens to destroy us? Mm. Yes. Oh, as fundamental as that. <laughs> Yes. yes yes it's it's mm. fundamental mm. um mm. Uh, yes so so and how have we dealt with it in the last 250 right years? right yes now let's bring so all the fear i mean just so all the fears that people perhaps we've repressed they come up whether you like it or not is it is it you know yes. it in, relates terms to our fears. Of the, in terms of the position right Yes. From, from, from what it is so you look at the fundamental planets are in signs and houses and an aspect so yes. they represent they represent a particular thing but they in individual lives they come up right. through different mediums if your sure. photo is placed in the seventh house it will yes. be in the form of partnerships or your uh. your relationship or your marriage you'll meet pluto when you meet yes. other people yes I have yeah. it in the twelfth house. I think mine is in the twelfth. You know, and, I'm just and, checking. And and <laughs> there, it's it it it's quite difficult to get hold of because it's as if we're an open door to collective forces. Yes. And and often there are things tearing through our lives with Pluto in the twelfth that don't belong just to the personal world; they belong to the collective. Yes. And 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 do do, do you see what I mean? So. I do. Sorry, I'm scrolling through trying to find my chart. And I, it's either in the 11th. Oh, here you go. My Pluto is in my 12th house. Yes. OK, so as I, as I say, it's a lot to do with the the underworld or the collective currents. And yes. one has to be careful as a Pisces. Mm. I'm not a Pisces, but you are um, yes. that you the 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 out the, the, the collective strand can mm. seep into you so you're open to there's probably gaps or holes in your psyche somewhere or your aura where you can pick up dangerous elements and mm. you need to be careful about that do you see 
Well, I have found the last, you know, year and a half in particular, mm. I have wanted to just withdraw, yes. you know, feel safe away from the news and all of the chaos out yes. there. I've, exactly. I've needed to do that. Yes. Exactly. To protect myself. Yeah. So coming back to the Pluto conjunction, Pluto in a, in a mundane chart, then yes. we must look at the, lie, the, the psyche of a whole nation. Of yes. a collective. Now, yes. I'd, what I'd like to do is I'd like to uh, try and share this. If I can. Um, I'm not too good at this technical stuff, so let's have a look. Let's bring it up. Share. Can you see my screen? Yes. Is it is is it on your screen as a full? Well, I, well, I've got the whole of your. Uh, I've got the calculated charts page and the Pluto and the usa chart but it's quite small is it small well I've, it seems to have the whole of your solar fire page oh. i've got current settings oh okay chart. well i'll stop yeah. share and mm. i'll do it again yeah because we want the whole chart how, how oh, that's that? better yeah that's okay. it i can see it now yeah the whole chart okay. yeah yeah okay well put quite simply Pluto in um, Capricorn has a lot to do with power and control. Yes, yes. It has a lot to do with status and money and self-importance. Mm. And so when, it, when, when Pluto is in Capricorn, it's a kind of wants to master the Earth, wants to the master yes. the realm of uh, the Earth. And as we know from America, it has been a, an amazing mm. period in the early 1900s uh, where there were, you know, there was lots of immigration to the country, you know, from all, yeah. all the, and they built these massive, you know, high rises and then some, and all the Wall Streets and so on. So Pluto here, America is a lot to do with, according to this chart, a lot to do with the accumulation of wealth, mm. a lot to do with oil, a lot to do with fundamentally being in control of itself. Yes. Do you see that? Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and yes. so therefore, this Capricorn has a tendency to become the ruler of the world. You could call right. it a superpower. Now, yes, yes. This is not this is not just about America, of course. All of the empires, including the British Empire, the Turkish, the, the Greek empires, and so they're, they're all prone to this. But this one, as I say, has to do with protecting the country protecting mm. the whole nation through the use of uh, economic power. That's very, very clear, isn't it? With yes, Pluto it in the second house. Yeah. Second house isn't just to do with money, but it's to do with your personal resources that yes. you can use to protect yourself. Okay. And so Pluto in this 12th, in the second, the whole country will experience plutonic difficulties in the arena of finance. Okay, right. And it's there that it's a chief, it's, it's a chief problem. Now, we also yes. see that Pluto rules the 12th, which is the house of secret societies or spy mm. agencies or mm. things like that. And I, I feel that Pluto in Capricorn generally has brought out all of the rot of certain uh, institutionalized structures. Yes, we've seen it across the board for the past few years, um, you know, in banks. I mean, in 2020 alone, banks were fined in the region of 14 billion pounds of fine for money laundering, mm. for uh, fines against this, for, you know, selling wrong insurance or, or whatever. They're always being fined. So uh, I'm not just talking about the American institutions. Uh, sure. Pluto in Capricorn, see the Catholic Church and the structures of that that's come out, the mm. repressions of sexuality perhaps over many hundreds of years, and, and the difficulties this has caused when they get enacted, when one can't hold down or, or, mm. all of that. The institutions of the church, so we've seen a lot of that. We've seen a lot over the last 20 years come out on the internet and everything else about how a lot of organisations get corrupted. Yes. But there's a hierarchy of power. Yeah. You know, so this is to do yes. with fascism, it's to do with um, 
is to do with the hierarchy of power and who's in control. Mm -hmm. So when Pluto comes round to this, it's going to be and is being a crisis of the financial system. Right. And depending on how America and its corporations deal with it will depend on the health and survival of the nation because it's now being challenged by China. But yes. this is nothing new. The world vies for, for power, doesn't it? And sometimes mm. it's here and sometimes it's here. But it's a very dangerous place because the, the dollar has been the basic currency of trade in oil and fuel and so on. And there are moves in the world at mm. the moment today to move away from the currency of the dollar to other currencies. Yes. And when this yes. happens, of course, it will replace the, if it does happen, it will replace the supremacy of the dollar. And so therefore all that debt, which is accumulating at the moment, will come to the surface. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think that's what's happening uh, in general. And as you may know, Pluto went into Capricorn in 2008. I gave a lecture oh, yes. in, in Purley in London and I called it, is this the end of capitalism? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right. And, uh, you know, that the, the idea, the Capricorn idea is is capital. You 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 are responsible for things. You work hard. You know, it's, it's mm -hmm. Margaret Thatcher had Jupiter in in Capricorn, you know, and she was talking to do with personal enterprise, you know, yes. you know, trying to encourage us away from a nanny state or uh, uh, or too much of a nanny state to 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 mm -hmm. rely on ourselves. This is principle of America, really. Enterprise mm. is very much a Sagittarian component, but here do you see this? This yeah, but and Capricorn is governments as well. So yes, it, it, the, the you know the very structure of government the, is uh, uh, precisely you know, being challenged. Yes, I mean the word state means to stand. It's right, to stand yes. on your own and and mm. a state. So anything th those Capricorns refer to institutionalized organizations, all of them. Yes, yes. Governments, banks, churches, <laughs> the whole construction of the way mm. they, 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 they've been built and how they work. And we know there's a lot of corruption in high places, a lot of money yeah. passes hands. And, mm. in, and in order to continue on, uh, often wars are started or finished. Yes. yes. Do you see what I mean? And, and I do. You know, and is, so there, so is there any indication in the natal chart, the whole of the US chart, of how? they will come through this. I mean, because the Sagittarius Ascendant to me is a very um, positive, you know, independent sort of spirit. So we'll, do you feel that, that the, the nature of the country itself will bring it through this crisis and, and, you know, in a positive way? Well, here we come to the very nature of astrology, <laughs> don't we? Yes. <laughs> um, and, and that I, I, it's my personal belief that that astrology reveals, but it doesn't it doesn't show outcomes. Right. OK, it, it, it can. Do, uh, you know, I'm a I'm an I'm an honorary astrologer. And so there are outcomes of 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 a, of a symbolic kind. Sure, it depends yeah. on the raising of the game of individuals and their consciousness. Yes. That's the whole yes. point about a modern yes. astrology is yes. you look yes. at your Pluto in the fourth. Yes. And you say, well, I've had I've moved 10 times and so on. And I say to you, you're not settled in yourself. Something yeah. something in the deep basement of your own psyche yes. is coming for yes. and you won't be able to settle yes. until you yes. answer these course. fundamental questions. So yes. then that puts yeah. it back on you to say, yeah. ah, I've got to go a bit deeper into this. Yes. Yeah. And and if there's anything about Pluto, it's the loss of the of the power of the ego. Right. You, you have to experience a decay, a loss, a death, a descent yes. into the underworld. That's the path. Yes. Yes. It yes. takes you into yes. the underworld. And that is the underworld are all those things you haven't looked at. All mm. of those, you know, yeah. And it will come in, it will come in in this mm. chart through the second house through Capricorn. Right. It's sure. all the financial right. institutions. Mm. The, mm. There, is a, there is something going on at the moment called the blockchain. Yes. Um, now, I can't pretend to understand the whole thing, but this whole thing to do with Bitcoin and the, yes. the, the numerous, I think they call them, what, what are the summing currencies? Um, uh, Cryptocurrencies. Uh, uh, Cryptocurrencies, yes, you see, which bypasses all the banks. 
Yes. Yeah. Now, in China, very recently, I heard on the grapevine that they've they cancelled all of that. They're not allowed to have it anymore. And it's, it, you know, there's not currency. Why? Because it undermines the security of yeah. all of the system. Yes, yes. But, but, but it, it, w w whether governments allow it or not, uh, it depends whether you want to ho hold down human progress because, um, uh, you know, John McAfee, who, who, <laughs> who was somebody on the run, you ought to look at, look at him. He was, he was amazing. He had about $7 billion dollars and he, he didn't have a bank account it's all in cryptocurrency yes yeah and, and well my I sent you a link my son has just written a book about this so i'm a bit more aware than i was yeah and, yes. and, and what's happening is there's an alternative being offered to the structure but that is so yes. threatening to the yes. powers that be that there will be a you know force backs because all absolute the, pushback yes, a, yes a pushback so yeah which one wins well, I sort of think I don't the one know. That will, win will be the because we're sort of Pluto is shortly uh, two or three years is it heading towards Aquarius? I think you know um, freedom and the people will um, ultimately win. But these last these last few years of Pluto and Capricorn will be a struggle for the you know the controlling powers to hold on to the control. But I think the I agree. Yeah. Every, what, what I found through YouTube, although it's being now um, somewhat diminished in its capacity to reveal a different opinions and a variety of opinions. Due to, oh, completely. You know, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah but, but nevertheless, it, <laughs> yeah. it is still quite open. And yes, I, I've learned in a lot from there. Yeah. And it's changed yeah. the world. And what we can see now is that of its corruption in high places everywhere. Yes. Yeah. This exactly. has been the message of Pluto through Capricorn. Yeah. And if you we if you on a personal level and me wield power. Yes. Yes. Like like Capricornian power or, or mm. a position in the world. Uh, astrologers hold very lowly positions, but whatever, mm. we're all parents to some some person or, or whatever. Yes. We've got to be very careful about our own psyches mm. and the purification of our own um, motivations. Yes, yeah. You see? Yeah. Because, because it, it isn't just about a nation. This no, is about a nation. So you mm. ask me how they're going to get through. I would like to ask, ask positive because I have a, a reasonably positive view of human nature, although sometimes I think we're barely out the swamps <laughs> with, with, with the way the world uh, carries. And becoming conscious is, is a deeply difficult thing to do because you have to mm. confront the faults mm. in the system. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the things that are repressed, Freud called, you know, the growth towards healing is the return of the repressed. It's the return of what's forgotten, yes. what's been yes. dead in you, what's, yes. what yes. you're not looked at. And this involves yes. corruption. It involves yes. the fear of death. It involves existential confrontation with your worst fear, which is the annihilation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What uh, existential psychology calls ontological anxiety, the anxiety of being itself. Yes. So how a person deals with this is it, very, it's very different. Some people race to religions and so on. Some people race to conserve their money. Yes. Um, but, uh, you know, what, there was that horrible thing, wasn't there, in Cyprus a while ago, where mm. banks were raiding people's um, uh, deposit accounts Absolutely. just to keep themselves yes. going. So, yeah. Everything is a little bit frightened at the moment, and we're going through, you know, the high crisis in, in, in all of this. Something in the financial uh, circuitry of the world is fundamentally changing, and the epicenter will probably be America and the yeah. American dollar. It's yeah. not over yet, but I have high hopes when Pluto moves into Aquarius yes. that uh, we might see the problems of globalization coming to the yes. surface. I wonder if it's also, you know, the because of the this chart is based on the Declaration of Independence. Yes. So I like to think the people there will be a renewal of that declaration in some way, an up, an upgrading or, or a re reminder. This is a, this country was founded on the I ideals of that declaration. So and a lot of it's been forgotten or, yes, you know, trampled upon. There um, may have to be back to the people. There may have to be a renaissance, a renewal yes. 
um, back to the ideals, perhaps, of the Constitution. There are a lot of constitutionalists, you know, that they say that they're, they're getting out, you know, or a, or a re... Uh, I think that th there's two camps at the moment. One is to, in a way, get rid of the old and somehow yeah. renew yes. the old constitutional mm -hmm. ideas. And there's mm -hmm. the conservatives, in a way, which want to stick with the primary goals of the founding fathers. Isn't that classic mm -hmm. Capricorn? Founding mm -hmm. fathers. Yes. yes. You know, uh, what are the structures of society? Everything's been called in. One is a very modern uh, uh, liberal agenda. It wants to move away from that. And the others say, if you move away from that, um, mm. then it won't be the United States anymore. Mm. And yes. uh, may yes. I remind you that yes. most countries become independent through wars. Yes, And there's sadly. been talk in yes. the last two or three years of, of civil war in the country. And you can see that countries at the moment are very divided between so divided, the, yes. the, 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 the modern liberal um, mm. uh, way and and what their fundamental identity is about but we're not allowed mm. to have an identity at the moment because it seemed to be racist and yes. uh, I think the, 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 these things have yet to be answered in any strong way so mm. that's what I would say to you mm. that's an 80 we haven't and got Mercury, long to wait. <laughs> you know, Mercury in the eighth, you know, digging up all the stuff about slavery and its past. Oh, and, yes. You know, and, yes. And, and, and all that very, very important for people. You see, what's happening is a revision of history. I hope that we don't rewrite history. No, absolutely. We need, we, yes. we, we, th th there's been a going back into the past to see the very foundations of society. And it's going to continue on for uh, at least a couple of years until this... Uh, Pluto moves into Aquarius in mm. late, um, mm. uh, early 2024. Mm. Anyway, so let me just come back to stop sharing. Did you get anything from that? Yeah, I, I think it is fascinating, and um, as you say, there we can't. There's you no, know, there are no certainties. We know the sort of areas that are going to be highlighted and. There will be turbulence and there is and it's going to continue um and yeah we'll just keep watching but like you i certainly am uh you know much more optimistically inclined and i do think it's it's all of this is coming up for a reason for things to be cleared and people waking up as well to a lot of the hidden corruption and unpleasant things and, and then it's uh, hard to deal with it isn't it yes yeah. Mm. You know, they say, isn't it, it's an old biblical idea of uh, the sins of the fathers. Well, I don't think yes. we can get away with that anymore. It's got to be sins of the mothers and the fathers. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's not, yeah. not be sexist about it <laughs> or, or gender yes. or stereotypes. So, mind you, in the United <laughs> States, I don't think you're allowed to say mother and father anymore. It's got to be first oh. parent, second parent. Oh, um, dear, we've got yes. to be very careful about uh, the fascism of um, a political correctness gone mad. Yes. As well. But yeah. political correctness has at its heart a very important point that we of must course. be very careful about how we deal and communicate with others. I, I like yes. the central point. I think it's gone a mm. bit balmy. It has. Um, but, <laughs> but, but, but nevertheless, that's a, that's a personal uh, point yeah. of view. But, yeah. you know, to, if, if you just take it back to the individual, and I've seen in mm. my own life, um, mm. Uh, I entered the Centre for Psychological Astrology in 88, uh, sorry, 85, mm. and been studying Jungian psychology ever since. And, um, and went into an analysis for, for maybe 12 years, a long mm. analysis. Mm. Mm. Um, Jung, by the way, had Pluto conjunction um, the moon in Taurus. Very, oh, really? Very, very oh. near the fourth house cusp. His his okay. thing is to is to journey into the unknown, right? And yes. to make it to 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 go back, and it's not just a personal journey into your past yes, to feel yes. what's wrong, but yes. to call upon certain depth of knowledge and understanding mm. and relationship to yourself. Mm. Yes, and yeah. it's on that that you can rely. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know, one of the things that the, the, the chief things that Buddhists have to say is it's very important. Nothing is permanent, including your own mm. ego and your own existence. Mm. What do you do? What do you, when you're looking at that, 
how do you deal with it? Do you, do you go off into some fantastic belief system that says, oh, this is the answer? Everybody has to reconcile mm. with the demise of their own life. Yes, yeah. And yeah. I think that's that's what the that's what the faint knocking at the door of Pluto transits are about. Yes. And and it depends on 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 people's courage, I think. Absolutely. To look at themselves in depth, yes. and not blame. Yes. Not yes. automatically blame. Yes. Well, there's a move, isn't there, towards more self-sufficiency with regard to food and material things. But also what you're saying is actually it's how we are self-sufficient within ourselves on a deep level, how we can be self-sufficient. I think so, but particularly the Pluto and Virgo uh, yeah. generation. I suppose what yeah. I'm saying is that when it comes to transforming your own personality, it involves mm. a very harsh trial Yes, of your own yes, conduct yes. and morals yes. and motivations yeah, and where they've come from. And if you want mm. to look at those in depth, you have to start mm. picking apart the past yeah. and, and, and particularly of history and society, yeah. but your yeah. own history. Yes, yes. You know, where you might yeah. be avoiding things because Bhutto mm. calls for a death of some kind and a transformation. Mm. And that's, mm. that's often not pretty psychologically. No, no. Mm. You know, in, in the in the lives of some mentally ill uh, mm. uh, people, mm. Um, mm. Uh, uh, people have sometimes have had to collapse. Yes. yes. You know, it's a kind of psychological collapse where all the structures yes. have yeah. to fall apart and they fall apart. Yes, yes. And that's not yes. a pretty sight, but it's had to mm. fall apart because the construction of the building has, has not worked. No, no. I'm, I'm looking at psyche as a structure. See. Yeah. As well, I like the word. So all the cracks everywhere. Yeah. It's called being crazy, isn't it? And crazy paving is cracks everywhere. So craziness and cracks. <laughs> exactly. And so, yeah. and so with Pluto and Capricorn, it, it, it certainly is collectively this yeah. idea about how well our building is being constructed. Yes, yes, yeah. Are we over defensive? Cap Capricorn that are over defensive look mm. down on people and say that's the problem. From their great height of the mountain, they, they form a massive superiority complex. That's the worst yes. of the sign. Yes, yes. The best of the sign is they say, look, I've attained a certain amount of mastery. I think I can apply my wisdom here to, mm. help, mm. to help. It's a very paternal sign, you see? Doesn't yes, have to yes. Signs are not intrinsically right or bad. They just represent a, 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 a developmental pattern. Yes, yeah. It's people yeah. that are good or bad. It's people that, um, yeah. you know, decide to steal the limelight for themselves or the power as they go. It's, it's mm. the, the, the ego's position in relation to the archetype of the sign. That's mm. the problem. So you yeah. ask me if it's going to come out okay. I would say to you, well, it depends how people... How deep people want yeah. to look into their own motivation. Yeah, yes. But yeah. I'm a psychotherapist, so I would answer in a very psychological way. <laughs> oh, no, it's, I, a I, it's a challenge to it's us all. Absolute it? challenge. Yeah, this is such a shock to Americans. You know, if you think of a few decades ago when you thought they had it all, the Americans, and my goodness, things have become very difficult. And as you say, the, the, um, things that are fundamental to their ways of life, money and just, you know, how they can survive being threatened. Who would have thought that of the Americans? Yeah. Yes. Uh, but, but of course, I'm, I'm, I'm bound to say when I've, whenever I've been to America, I've enjoyed, uh, I've enjoyed it. I've been welcomed. Yes. It's Cancerian yes. country. I've been, yes. I've done several videos, Noel Till about my time in America and, and it's some wonderful homey, uh, people hearts on sleeves big they want hearted the best, they, big Absolutely. Hearted. they want the best yeah. and and, and I, I just want to finish with this that um governments don't always reflect the heart and the soul of the people that they Absolutely. supposedly serve it's more in this country uh, sometimes yeah. in the states and sometimes you know <laughs> the governments yeah. that get in are usually the people that know how to play the game mm -hmm. not necessarily because they mm -hmm. are the height of a democratic institution which then yeah. idealistically serves yeah. the will of the people uh, yeah. Yeah. you know even that 
that's being looked at. Democracy itself has been the, the, mm. the hierarchy of democracy. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. That that hierarchy also. Yes. So when, All we're, the saying, hierarchy. when we're saying the American people, um, you know, we're we talking about the heart and soul of of a, of a certain kind of nation. And uh, I got nothing to say, but 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 good about my. Um, relationships with with uh, uh, uh america but yeah. governments come and go and, oh, and exactly. sometimes no, they have I, this yeah. they have this way of dividing people and we're absolutely no people. i think the spirit the sort of the, the spirit of the american people is you know freedom open tolerance you know welcoming foreigners all of that that's absolutely. been the, the the background for america that's yeah. right and that's why it became a secular religion yes Yes. you know we the people and so on uh, and yes. by secular i mean there was a sense that the homeland is a cancerian country the homeland mm. and the protection of its own and its people uh, yes. uh, along yes. with its aquarian moon which was very liberal very fraternity yes. Equal, yes. equal free equal uh, under, you know all of that um in its heart as mm. i say th th those two things right the sun and the moon mm. Uh, mm. But, uh, I suppose finally I'd like to say it's I don't know when uh country ch mundane charts end right, yes you know, I mean I still use the 1066 yes. chart from England and it has, right. has validity yes yes yeah well the America the Sibley chart seems spot on doesn't it and it does seem to be but yeah. is is pluto bringing that chart to an end in some way i don't know well, so, how interesting how interesting yes yeah. no no individual will experience pluto return of their own chance no. so this is going to be very interesting over the next few years to 2024 yes yeah well perhaps we need to come back and have a look in february we <laughs> will no doubt yes okay, okay well, it's been nice you. talking to you Thank you, Richard. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye. Bye. Let's just turn that off. Uh...